Loose Mischief, where we have a fantastic time creating art, making crafts, and conducting science experiments. I'm Danielle, the author and illustrator of Moose Mischief, a pancake surprise, and this is the moose. Today I will show you how to make these handprint flowers. These flowers are extra special because they're to thank everyone who's working to provide us care and services during the coronavirus. Some of these people include police officers, firefighters, doctors, nurses, paramedics, truckers, delivery people, and grocers. We're so grateful they're allowing us to stay home and be safe. You can display it in your window so people can see it on their drive home from work or while they're delivering items to your house. Let's spread cheer all across the world. Okay, Moose, let's make this craft. You can make hoof prints. Here's what you need. Paper plates, paint, glitter, craft sticks painted green, glue, colored pencils or crayons, markers, scissors, green construction paper, and watercolor paper. You also need the vase template from my website, moosemischief.com. Let's get started. If you'd like to add a little sparkle to your handprint flowers, you could add glitter to your paint. Here we go. Okay, put the glitter in there, Moose. Oh my. Oh, not that much glitter. Oh, Moose. Ah. Oh, Moose. While the moose cleans the glitter off his hooves, I'll get started. I suggest making a couple of flowers for your vase. You can make them the same color or two different colors. Today, I will make my flowers purple and blue. For the first step, put the purple paint onto the paper plate. Put your hand into the paint and swirl it all around. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Make sure you get paint all over your hand. Make sure it's all over your fingers. There we go. Oh, I love it. It looks so neat. Oh, how pretty. So you can fill in some of your handprint with some more paint if you want. So you can just kind of touch it up and make it look really nice. Okay, go wash your hand. All right, put the blue paint down onto the paper plate. Stick your hand into the paint and get it nice and goopy. Swirl it around, swirl, swirl, swirl. Get the paint all between your fingers. Look, my hand is blue. All right, I'm ready to make a flower. Are you ready to make one too? I highly suggest making more than one because then you can pick out your favorite handprints. People won't be blue looking at your flowers. Okay, Moose, it's your turn. Good job, Moose. All right, so grab a couple of craft sticks and paint them green. And if you have green ones, perfect. And if you don't have craft sticks at all, then you can cut stems out of the green construction paper. So now we will draw the leaves for our flower stems. So draw a straight line and then a hill. A line and then a hill. A line and then a hill. All right, I have four leaves for my two stems. Let's cut them out. It's glowing time. So dab a little glue on the edge and a little glue on this edge, just like so. And press it down, just like that. And then we'll do the other side. So on my website, I have two vases. One says thank you and the other is blank. So you can write thank you in your own language. Okay, Moose, pick out your favorite color. What color did you end up choosing? Blue? Let's color it in. Great job, Moose. Now it's my turn. So you wanna color the top of the vase a little bit darker because that's the inside of the vase and I'm making the rest of the vase a little bit lighter. So I'm just not pressing down on the crayon as hard. 
right, let's put on that pretty blue bow. Oh, that looks so pretty. All right, now that your handprints are all dry, let's cut them out. We will put one handprint of each color in the vase. So pick your favorite one. You wanna just roughly cut around the fingers. I think this project is really neat because not only are they flowers, it also looks like someone saying hello. Okay, glue your handprints onto the stems. A little bit of glue right there at the end of the craft stick. And then put on your handprint. The flowers are waving. Let's cut out the vase. The moose will show you this part. For the last step, glue your handprints to the vase. So put glue at the bottom of your stems and then put the vase right on top of them and press down. Set it aside to dry. Let's display our flowers in the window. You did such a good job on this mousse. I did a good job too, thank you. I bet you guys did a good job at home. I would love to see your artwork, so please hashtag it ThankWorkers. If you like this video, share it with a friend because the more people that can make flowers, the more joy that we can spread. All right, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.